Hello, my name is Donna Washington and I am the author of Little Rabbit's Kwanzaa, illustrated by Shane Evans, and I'm very excited to read this book to you today. Little Rabbit was not having a very good Kwanzaa. Being the littlest rabbit in the family wasn't easy. He couldn't remember the names of all the days. He wasn't allowed to light the candles. His brothers and sisters made wonderful gifts to share. Little Rabbit was too embarrassed to share his gifts. He hated being the youngest. He was always in the way and everyone told him he was too little to help. Has it ever happened to you? Then you were too little to help. It's very frustrating, isn't it? The only part of Kwanzaa that he really loved was the big feast called Karamu. This year, he wasn't even going to have that. Grana Rabbit was sick. She lay in bed all day drinking dandelion tea. Mama Rabbit was so busy taking care of her, she didn't have time to cook. Mama, if Grana Rabbit is sick, who will make the feast of Karamu? Little Rabbit asked his mother. Shame on you, little rabbit, his mama said. Grana Rabbit is sick and all you think about is your stomach? You go outside. Now that's not how little rabbit meant for it to be, you know, but sometimes these are really important questions and sometimes grown-ups don't understand those questions. You know what I'm talking about? You know, you there's something that's important to you and you say it and it, it just comes out all wrong. That even happens to grown-ups too. It doesn't stop when you're, you're a kid. <laughs> Little Rabbit hopped out and sat on the big gnarled tree stump. He really wanted to go and talk to Grana Rabbit. She was very wise. Little Rabbit sat and thought. He thought about all the things his Grana said about Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa is a special time when we help each other. That's what Grandma Rabbit said. That's it! Little Rabbit jumped up and danced around. I'll bring Grana Rabbit a special treat for Karamu. That will make her feel better. Little Rabbit hopped down the road. Where are you going so fast? Mama Oriole asked Little Rabbit. I'm going to find a tasty treat for Grana Rabbit. She's sick. I want her to have a good Karamu. Little Rabbit hopped away. Mama Oriole didn't know what Karamu was, but she knew Grana Rabbit. Grana Rabbit always brought out warm seed cakes and worm pudding when the weather got cold. Poor Grana Rabbit, said Mama Oriole. I wish there was something I could do to help. Little Rabbit stopped by the side of the path. He looked under some logs to see if he could find something special for Grana Rabbit. What are you doing, little rabbit? Asked Groundhog, sticking his head out of a patch of grass. I'm trying to find a Zwadi for Grana Rabbit. She's sick. I want her to feel better. Little rabbit hopped off. Groundhog didn't know what a Zwadi was, but he knew Grana Rabbit. She always had time to make little toys for the animals when they were bored. Poor Grana Rabbit, said Groundhog. I wish there was something I could do to help. Grandma Rabbit knows a lot of people. Mm. Little Rabbit hopped down to the pond. Maybe he could find something pretty for Grandma Rabbit. What are you doing, Little Rabbit? Asked the frogs. I'm looking for something pretty for Grandma Rabbit. She's sick. She should have something pretty to hang on the wall at Kwanzaa time. Little Rabbit scratched an ear and hopped away. The frogs didn't know anything about Kwanzaa time, but they knew Grana Rabbit. She could paint beautiful pictures and write wonderful poems. Rawr. Poor Grana Rabbit, said one of the frogs. Rawr. I wish there was something we could do to help. Rawr. Little Rabbit hopped through the field looking for berries. Where are you going, Little Rabbit? Mama Field Mouse asked. She was dragging all of her children behind her. Grana Rabbit is sick, said Little Rabbit. I'm going to make sure she has a good caramu. I'm going to find as many berries as I can. Little Rabbit looked proud as he hopped through the meadow. Mama Field Mouse didn't know anything 
about Karamu, but she knew Grana Rabbit. Grana Rabbit helped out with the children when Mama Field Mouse had to run errands. Poor Grana Rabbit, said Mama Field Mouse. I wish there was something I could do to help. Little Rabbit scampered through the trees. Good morning, Little Rabbit, said Papa Squirrel. Why are you sniffing around the trees? I'm looking for something to give Grana Rabbit. She's sick. I want her to have a good Kwanzaa. Little Rabbit hopped away. Papa Squirrel didn't know anything about Kwanzaa, but he knew Grana Rabbit. She always helped him gather nuts in the fall. She even helped him remember where he hid them. Poor Grana Rabbit, said Papa Squirrel. I wish there was something I could do to help. Little Rabbit spent the whole day trying to find something for Grana Rabbit. He searched as hard as he could, but he didn't find anything at all. He was very sad. I guess I am too little to do anything. As the sun was setting, he hopped slowly home. When he opened the door, he got a big surprise. What do you think it was? <laughs> what kind of surprise do you think he got? Everyone was there! Grana Rabbit was sitting in the big chair with a huge smile on her face. The frogs had brought pink flowers from the lily pads. Mama and Papa Spider hung them from the ceiling like lanterns. Mama Oriole was conducting a fine chorus of birds. Groundhog brought little toys and gifts for everyone. Mama Field Mouse had gotten together with Mama Possum and Mama Raccoon to make a delicious feast. The air was full of excitement. Mama Rabbit served the plates and Little Rabbit ate until he thought he would burst. After that, Papa Rabbit told funny stories about Br'er Rabbit, a Nazi the spider, guinea fowl, and mosquito. The stories made everyone laugh. Then Papa Spider plucked on his web strings, Cricket got out his fiddle, and all the animals had a wonderful dance. Grana Rabbit taught everyone a new word. Harambe, she called out as her friends danced. It means let's pull together. We don't need anyone to tell us that, said Papa Squirrel. We already pulled together. Everyone laughed and shouted, Harambe, Harambe, Harambe. When the caramel was over, Little Rabbit sat with his grana in the big chair. Why are you so sad, Little Rabbit? His grana asked. Didn't you have a good time? Yes, Little Rabbit said quietly, but I wanted to do something special for you. Grana Rabbit just laughed. Oh, you silly rabbit, she said, hugging Little Rabbit tight. If you hadn't gone off looking for Caramu this morning, it never would have found its way here tonight. Little Rabbit frowned but I'm the only one who didn't have anything to share. His grana smiled. You shared your dream, little rabbit, and your dream brought all of our friends and neighbors together. That's a big thing. Little rabbit felt proud. My dream did all that? Yes. I'm not surprised, though, his grana said. Why not? Little Rabbit asked. Because I have faith in you. If you have faith, Little Rabbit, there's always hope. Oh, uh, I'll try to remember that, said Little Rabbit, yawning. By the way, said Grandma Rabbit, snuggling him close. This was the best carol moo ever. And that's the story a little rabbit's Kwanzaa. Thank you so much for sharing it with me. I hope that over the course of this holiday season, you find yourself your very own copy. You can make up your own voices and your own sound effects and all of it, and you can share it with someone you love. Thank you so much. Have a great holiday season.